seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Fight robots, fight! 30 pound action getting started in the box. Arm wrestle kind of stuffed right at the beginning with those big long wedges on Smith. Oh, that's not good. So just lost a little bit of wedgelet action on arm wrestle. And we're losing cameras in the box with the uh, violent shoving match that is this fight. Arm wrestle, their weapon getting up to speed. The size difference on these bots is really significant. Matt is uh, is pretty consistently getting under blood uh, blood sport. Oh my God, Kyle! I that was a Freudian slip. Arm wrestle. Arm wrestle. Yeah, absolutely. You know, if we're going with like 80s and 90s action movies, wouldn't they want to call this over the top? <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, really not letting arm wrestle get up to speed at all. Smez weapon has not really had a lot to say in this match, but that wedge certainly has. Yeah, the weapon is not a factor in this fight with Smash. Really, either either of the weapons, we're, we're not seeing arm wrestle get up to speed the, the way that it needs to. No, definitely not. They're trying, but it's just not super effective. With arm wrestle, it's really important for the robot to escape the pin and spin up and come back and really deliver a big kill shot. Yeah, it seems like they're having some drive issues right now, so they might not be able to do that. I'm not even sure they can get out of that corner. There we go. They got a little bit of motion from them, but not a lot. They're just slowly crawling across the box. Yeah, this may be the last time that we see arm wrestle in this competition. This is, uh, this is tough. Very tough. And there we go. You see arm wrestle trying to get that weapon up to speed, but we got Smed just pinning them into that corner. Now, let's see, Smed, you're really only allowed to hold that pin for 10 seconds. Are you able to get out? Let's go, Fluffy. Fluffy yeah. giving a little assistance. Arm wrestle and Smed not moving. Neither robot is moving. We're going to get some show motion here on the screen. We'll see what happens. This might end up being the double count out. All right, here we go. And that is a knockout, a double knockout. So that's gonna go to the judges with that double knockout. Craig, is that an Adam 94 shirt? It is, I love it. I love it. All right, Craig, kick us off. Your thoughts on this uh, this match. Uh, Smear all the way. Um, it, the early exchanges were definitely arm wrestles favor, but uh, the fight was totally controlled by uh, by Smear. For uh, sure. Good job, Joe. It's for Smear for me. Yeah. All right, on over to Zach. So it's crazy because while Smear really did control that entire fight, Arm Wrestle never really got the weapon going, even when he had a chance to. If Arm Wrestle had moved four inches at the end of that fight, he would have walked away with the win, I think. Yeah. But he just didn't. They both died sort of anticlimactically, and uh, I feel kind of smeh about the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> Don, your thoughts? Uh, yeah, smeh pretty much controlled the entire fight. So I'm going with smeh. All right. Smeh. Smeh. They win. Smeh. Maybe maybe they should change the name yeah. to Weh. Just Weh. Wedge? Like, but just Weh. Yeah. You know, when? I think uh, after that performance, it's more like meh. Let's just uh, move on from that joke. 